My name is Jenna Luke and I'm a PhD student at the Chesapeake Biological Lab. Today I wanted to talk to you about ex some experiences of, I've had here in the Chesapeake Bay doing field work. I grew up in Pittsburgh and to me growing up the Chesapeake Bay was just a sign that I passed when I was on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. But over the past seven years I've come to learn how beautiful and complex the system really is. So my advisor Dr. Michael Gonzior and I met while we were both out filtering large volumes of water on the Chesapeake Bay. We were out studying methane and all the different um, complex things across the bay. We came to start talking and ended up coming up with a project that I ended up going on to do for my PhD work. So as chemists, we oftentimes spend a lot of time filtering water. Depending on what we're trying to measure, we'll, we'll filter anywhere from a few milliliters of water all the way up to 40 or more liters for a single sample. I was helping a friend out a few years ago on a research cruise and actually ended up filtering about 3,000 liters of water over one five-day cruise. So it becomes a little tedious and now my family has come to know or guess that I'm probably filtering water while I'm at work. I was able to go out on a cruise on the Chesapeake Bay uh, two years ago as part of some research with my advisor and we were filtering water again, this time looking for um, the natural and anthropogenically derived chemicals um, across, the, across the salinity gradient of the bay. So we started at the head of the Chesapeake Bay all the way up by the Susquehanna and went over five days to the, to the mouth of the Chesapeake and into the Atlantic. And so over this time we were able to, to really understand how these complex systems change and how many different chemicals um, are present and what their potential sources are and if they're degraded by photo photochemically or degraded by bacteria. So two of my favorite things about being an environmental scientist are learning all the different and complex ways that people analyze chemicals and other things in the field. So I love going out with large groups of people and learning all the different techniques that everybody else is using. I also enjoy teaching others and sharing how I analyze chemicals or analyze different things um, in the field and in the lab. So one of my favorite experiences was a, being able to take out a new undergraduate student um, into the field on a five-day cruise on the Chesapeake. She had really spent no time doing field work previously and had so many different questions for us about what it would be like to go out and spend a week at sea. Would they feed us? Did, were there beds? And fortunately I'd been out on that boat a few times so I was able to share and help comfort her in terms of letting her understand what the experience would be like. Um, she ended up dropping her phone into the Chesapeake Bay on the first day of the water, cutting off communication to her, her outside world. Um, but over the next week, she really immersed herself in the project and came to really love the experience. Um, I was really grateful to be able to see that and see what that was like, um, because I'm sure I went through that on my first cruise as well, and it made me basically enter the career that I'm in now. Doing field work here in the Chesapeake Bay has been a really interesting and unique experience, and Moving forward, although I'm planning to move outside the Chesapeake Bay, I hope to come back in the future and do research here. There's all sorts of questions that still need to be asked, and we still don't under this, understand the system as well as we could.